What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel once again. You know I appreciate having you here. Stick around for today's video. Now don't worry, this is just a quick kind of introduction to the series, the video, the big little adventure. I just want to tell you guys how the trip came about why it's called 0.5, that's this episode, and how it's going to run over the channels. Right, so, number one, how did this trip come about? Basically, I had two weeks off in September. I was at a loose end, didn't know what to do. I knew I wanted to go out on the bike and go out for a road trip, do something. I needed to get out. COVID was driving me insane. So, I hit up my boy, Mr. Teapot One. I said, Teapot, because that's what I call him. No one calls him Bruce, we call him Teapot. I said, Teapot. Tell me a good place to go on my bike. So he immediately texted me back and said, Snowdonia. Snowdonia is a great place, which I've never been to, but I've heard it's good. So that was the first key. And then he said, what are you doing it on? And I said, I'm doing it on the Cub 125. And then there was a little pause in proceedings. And I got a text message back saying, when are you going? So I told him and he went, do you know what? I think I've got a Sinus 125 for that week. And then it started whirling. He then texted me and said, do you mind if I come along? And I thought to myself, what's better than me going on a road trip on a Super Cup 125? That's right, two people on 125s going on a road trip with your mates. You can't get better than that. So I said, yeah, no problem. Let's do this, let's road trip. So the plan was hatched. The big little adventure was starting. So we did a little bit of a route and said we're going to go Snowdonia, we had a few days, Brecon Beacons, that sort of thing. And I looked on the map and I thought, hold on a minute, my boy Richie is up in a piece, that's not too far from the edge of Wales. So I hit Richie up and Richie said, I'm down for that, I can do a day. So that's how Richie got involved and that's how the plan hatched. Peak District, Snowdonia, Brecon's back. The big little adventure was just one inquisitive DM to my boy, Mr. Bruce. Mr. Teapot One. Right, so how this series is going to run is across all three channels. We are each getting one episode. Technically, we're getting more, but I'll come back to that. But there are three main episodes. One on Richie Vida's channel, one on my channel, and one on Mr. Teapot's channel. So get yourself over to Richie Vida, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Get yourself over to Teapot One's channel, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And seeing as you're here, if you haven't subscribed, you might as well hit the subscribe and the bloody notification bell. That way, you get the drop on the videos. You understand where we're going from. Try to watch them in order. As I said, Richie Vida one, myself two, Teapot one, three. However, and that's where I'm coming back to this one. So that's why this one's called 0.5, because it's the one before number one. We've all done one. I've got this one up. Teapot One's doing one on his channel. Richie Vida has already put one up on his channel. So we've all got 0.5. They're called different things, but it's basically the one before number one. Anyway, now that's as clear as mud, let's get on with the video. Right, here we go. We are getting started. Are we going Kalimoto? Not the twistiest route, this one, and then twistiest when we get up there. Because we don't have that option if we're losing time to take the motorway. <laughs> we're stuck at this. We were meant to leave at about 8, 8.30. It's now 10 to 11. So it's going to be a nighttime Peak District ride. We reckon, what, eight hours to get there? Nine hours? Uh, anyway. It's all a love, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go. We've got big bikes at home. <laughs> I've got a, well, I suppose I can say it. I've got an Africa Twin as well. I haven't done the bike reveal, but that'll come out before this one comes out, so that'll be all right. So yeah, so I could have come up on the Africa Twin, you could have come up on the GS or the Africa Twin, but oh no, we've got a Sinus Apache and a Cub. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Right, we're on the road. First challenge is a 50 mile an hour road. <laughs> challenge number one. <laughs> so we switched off from Bruce now. Bruce is uh, doing his first impressions review on that, that's right. This is his first impressions review on the Sinus. He's got this for a, a demo, a uh, review. It's done two and a half miles, so the first trip he's doing on it is on this uh, adventure. So let's see how that holds up. Hopefully okay. 
can't see any problems but famous last words and I am on the cub now I may have overloaded this cub slightly on the back we're a little bit sketchy on the front end <laughs> and I've got lots of stuff with me I've been overkill and it's been quite handy actually because we've used all the tools or a lot of the tools already to fix bits on Bruce's bike and crash helmet because the bike fell over in the car park and bent the brake lever snapped off the rear footrest but the main problem was was the GoPros it snapped the mount to the GoPro and the Cardo on his crash helmet because the crash helmet was on the wing mirror so we took a little bit of time to fix that hence we're leaving about two and a half hours later than we planned but at least we missed the rush hour traffic so we're going to cruise we're going to chill it does say on the Cali Moto app we've got 191 miles remaining it says we're going to get there at 1525 I can't see that myself that's based on normal bikes that can do the speed limit this is probably going to cruise around 40 45 it will do more than that if you push it but i don't want to push it all the way i want to keep it quite relaxed and i think bruce is the same on that <laughs> another challenge here we've got a hill <laughs> i'm losing momentum we're down to 30 miles an hour <laughs> what are we going to do when we get to the mountains <laughs> up in the peak district and the mountains of snowdonia and brecon beacons <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous Oh, what are we doing? But I'm glad you're along for the ride. Because if I laugh as much in the next five days as I've laughed already, and we've only done a couple of miles, then it's going to be a good little trip. Hopefully, the weather's not going to get worse than this. Predictions are, it is. But hopefully, fingers crossed, it's not. But I'm going to enjoy it, and I hope you guys do too. Right, I come alongside on the right-hand side. Past the Dutch Heap on the right-hand side. <laughs> it's a drag race. Oh, you've got an advantage as well. You've got 11 brake horsepower, I've only got eight. I'm catching, I'm catching. I've got a quick shifter. Oh, we'll be, we'll be nearly at the speed limit. Oh, scary. National speed limit, let's go. I'm catching you, I'm catching you. Oh, knee down, knee down. <laughs> I'm coming around the house. <laughs> It's a super cub. That's why it's called a super cub. Oh, over the top's like the corkscrew. Let's tuck in, tuck in the bubble. I look like such a twat right now. I'll slow down, give you a chance, Bruce. If you can't, you can't handle the power of the cub. <laughs> oh, so how many miles? We've got 164 miles to go. He's saying about another, what, three hours, four hours, five hours, six, seven, who knows. Here he goes, taking me on the inside. It's done me on the inside. Can I do him on the flip-flop? Mitch, get left-hand side. <laughs> yeah, obviously we're not going that fast. <laughs> oh, this is good fun. I'm enjoying this. It is. It is so much fun. As I say, if the road stayed like this, the weather stays like this, we'd be all right. We've just jinxed it, but not what I have. But the little bikes are doing really, really well. Very impressed so far. Uh, with the power of these bikes, I can hardly hear you on the intercom because of the velocity of the wind. <laughs> Hello. What's <laughs> up, my sheeples? Right, we're back, just filled up with a little bit of juice. So we're good to go for at least another 80 to 100 miles. We're just in Oxfordshire, I think, or just outside Oxfordshire. We've got 133 miles to go. So we've broken the back of it by doing the first 40. <laughs> and now we've just got 133 to go. And it's just started pissing down with rain. Oh, it's a beautiful day to be out on a 125, right in the countryside. I'll tell you what though, these roads are quite nice. Oh shit, that's tighter than I thought. Oh, <laughs> you could have warned me there's a tractor coming. <laughs> I was coming around the bend, I nearly headbutted it. <laughs> Woo, well that's woke me up. If the Red Bull didn't do it, that certainly did. 
and obviously I'm quite close to the moon, I could be in tall, my, my face is on the other side of the road. <laughs> but I saw was a big tyre coming towards me. Uh, anyway, we're alive now, we've got 132 miles to go, uh, in about another 70 miles, we'll have to pull over 80 miles and uh, get some more juice. But for now, we're just going to keep rolling. There you go folks, we are now in Northamptonshire and as you can see it's subtropical. This is why I tend to head south because uh, it's now peeing down with rain. We've been pretty lucky up to now, I have to say that, pretty lucky, but at the moment it's pissing down. We've got 105 miles to go and the roads are pretty good. This Kalimoto app has thrown up a really really nice route but it hasn't sorted the weather out for us unfortunately. But the bikes are holding up really well, we've had no problems, we've been sitting at about 55, 60 for a lot of the national speed limits and obviously they're really really good through town. So all in all it's really good, it's starting to get picturesque now which is a nice thing. Uh, so a bit more for you to see, although you can't see it because all you're probably seeing now is raindrops on the camera. But it's all good, it's all bloody good! It's part of the adventure. Oh shit! <laughs> hey, I went over the handlebars then. <laughs> I was expecting it to be quite such a humpback bridge. Yeah, my, my gloves aren't waterproof. That's the only thing that's not waterproof are the gloves. But I have got my winter Gore-Tex gloves in the back just in case. I've got it covered. But as long as I'm not cold, I don't really care. I'll tell you what, it's taking us through some nice little villages. I mean, it's, it's nice to go in the country in the fast lanes. Uh, well, not on these, but but it's also nice to see these little villages that you would never ever in your life ride through unless it was for this app. Yeah, I like it, it's a nice contrast. That's the word I was looking for, a contrast. You've got to sound professional, haven't you? Even if you're not. Oh, here we go, Bruce, what do we say? <laughs> Makes no difference to us, but... <laughs> we'll have a go. I'll just put the uh, cruise control on so I can turn the camera off. I'll tell you what, this cruise control is fantastic. Well worth the $6.99 on Amazon. We're all going on a summer holiday. Oh, the things we do, Bruce, the things we do. I'm sure this is picturesque in the sunshine. Oh, it's hacking it down. Right, folks, we're back. We've got 33 miles to go, it's saying 43 minutes till we get to the departure lounge where we're meeting up with Richie Vida. And guess what? The sun's come out! I know, it isn't true. The sun does come out up north and we're here, as I say. 32 miles to go, the bikes have behaved impeccably. Bruce is a bit suspect with his behaviour, but we'll let that slide. <laughs> Don't worry people, he can hear me, we're on the intercom. Uh, oh, what are we doing? We're nearly touching 70 miles an hour. No, 65 alive. But, it's been a good day, a little bit cold. It was absolutely hacking down in the middle of it there, that's why there's not any footage, don't you dare pull out. And, uh, so we switched it on now. I'm only going to record for a little bit while we're on these roads. And then I'll record when we meet up with Richie. But, looking at it, We've got some nice little roads coming up, so I'll leave the camera on for a little bit and then turn it off to save the battery and catch up with you guys in a minute. As soon as I say nice roads, we come up against traffic lights and roadworks. I have to say, so far, so good with traffic, before I switch the camera off, we've been pretty much traffic free for 150 miles, so can't moan at that, can you? But now, 
Uh, we're getting a little bit, but it's not too bad. We're coming up to, where are we now? 4.30 in the evening. That's nice, isn't it? I do like those bikes. It's quite a big lump, isn't it? Not Bruce. Look at this guy. The only problem I've got with this guy is he's got a white suit on. <laughs> it's like, it's like, what's in it? John Travolta on an adventure bike. <laughs> Get ready to it road. <laughs> Get to digs. It's a wee little bastard. If I ride behind you, then I can tell if anything falls off. <laughs> ah! Oh, I nearly, I nearly high sided then. <laughs> what are you talking about? This cost me 27 grand. You're telling me I've been conned? This is the Panagali I've got, isn't it? <laughs> Rock and roll 125ers. Oh, I did him. Come on, Bruce. <laughs> Come on. This is serious now. I don't even know where we're going. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Go on, I'll let you pass. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I ain't got a clue. Oh, he's in the slipstream. I've backed right off. <laughs> oh, let me put the cruise control on. There we go. Oh, gaining, gaining. It's going to do him on the bend. And with cruise, con cruise control! <laughs> yeah, my rear's coming loose, look. <laughs> I wasn't expecting Bruce to stick. Oh, Bruce has just overtaken me, I suppose I should put it in top gear. Oh, I've got a massive slipstream for both of you. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Have to break. <laughs> you thought that was me. Here <laughs> 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 we go. <laughs> you already. Yeah, Bruce is here. Let's go. Indicator bridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Bruce is behind me, he's got no brakes. Who is it? It's pretty nice, isn't it? So that's what we just stopped at, Rob. Have we been there? 
Oh, so here we are, final destination. We made it to the digs, or to digs, as I should say. Oh dear, I just need to learn to rewalk now. I feel like first day in prison. <laughs> That's all right, isn't it? Oh, that's a, that's why we wear crash helmets. It's pretty decent, isn't it? All right, so there we go, folks. We are here. This is the view from the back. You get your very own Richie in the garden. <laughs> Bruce is, I don't know, adjusting himself in there. And uh, we finally made it. About 250 odd miles today. So not bad on Super Cups. And uh, let's bring this one to an end, as the sun, sun sets, I was going to say, <laughs> as the rain sets in the distance. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, to share, to do all those things that you need to do. I shall see you on the next one. Take it easy, stay safe, fish out. Get all your bags, get out my house, I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong, so go ahead, get, get gone. gone. Get all your bags, get out my house I don't want your stuff around I never did you wrong But you did me wrong So go ahead and get